I've got our big solar system up and running, which is pretty cool. We are on our way to Montpelier to pick up our air conditioner. It appears we may have hit a snag. the cracks between the solar panels so we can collect water off them. I'm cleaning them with alcohol and I'm going to put tape on them. already back in the bucket. It's a beautiful day and we are on our way to Montpelier to pick up our air conditioner because tomorrow is going to be warmer and we would really like to have it in place by then. Be nice. Our rooftop air conditioner weighs 100 pounds, so it's being shipped on a pallet. And if you watched our last episode, you saw that we can't receive certain deliveries because large trucks can't go through the covered bridge on one route to our property, or come around the steep switchback curve on the alternate route. But the FedEx Freight Center near Montpelier is not very close by, so we're doing some sightseeing along the way. We stopped at this nature center because we love nature centers, but before today, we had no idea there was a brand new forest canopy walk installed at the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. Most of the platform is 50 feet high, which is up in the canopy, but there is also a tower where you can climb up to 100 feet and look down upon the tallest trees in this forest. Of the air conditioner. 
also the outside unit of the air conditioner is here in the bed of the pickup truck on its way to our property. And the inside unit of the air conditioner is on its way back to Indiana. In addition to the arrival of our battery cables in the mail, I have a bit more good news to share. If you listen carefully in the leafless woods at the top of our hill now, you will no longer hear the sound of caterpillar droppings falling through the trees. Most of the spongy moths have pupated and others have died off. I hope our trees will now have a chance to recover for the rest of the year. Good morning. This is the warm day we've been anticipating in the forecast. Unfortunately, our air conditioner installation is going to have to wait a few days. We'll be hopefully getting the interior portion of the unit coming to our address in the next few days. Some of you may remember a big vertical green PVC pipe sticking out of the ground here. That was our Blackwater port connected to the septic tank. Charles got the fitting installed so it's now closer to the ground and I built a rock cairn around it to protect it from getting run over. We thought this hard-working spider wasp was rather ambitious, trying to bury a heavy-bodied orb weaver in the soft sand that was brought in to cover the conduit under the shed. Then we saw the second spider. I'm down the hill from where the yurt will be constructed, looking at our newly arrived water tanks. We still have one yet to pick up. These cisterns weigh 500 pounds each, so we can barely nudge them around on the sand between two people. I've got our big solar system up and running, which is pretty cool. New solar system batteries are full, so we've got 21 kilowatt hours of stored energy down there ready to be used. We are ready for company now with an RV outlet next to the regular outlet on the shed. Well, hello there. Hello. It appears we may have hit a snag. Nothing. This outside unit came with no hardware. So all the hardware, mounting hardware, everything must come with the interior unit in a separate box. And now we've got a gaping hole in our roof. <laughs> 